Guys, it's a boomer ranch a ran from Vegas. Listen, come that ran about that pet sitting service that we were just that I was just talking about on the short earlier today. Listen, didn't happen here in Vegas this time, but the, a similar thing happened here in Vegas using the same pet sitting service. Now, I'm not naming the service here. You can find that out easily. Just Google pet sitting services. You'll find it, trust me. And then look at news. And you'll see a bunch of news stories for this. This did not, this one didn't happen here. It happened in Arizona. The guy has a dog that's 16 years old. 16. He's in, the dog made it 16 years. The guy used to take the dog on road trips and do all these cool things, but the dog's 16, man. So the most recent trip that he had, he had to go on a trip to go do something, and he was not able to take the dog because of all the potential medical issues and stuff for the dog. I don't know why. Can't travel. There's not a whole lot about it in the story of why. Now, this guy goes through this pet sitting service, online pet sitting service, finds a potential sitter, meets this person at a local park, local dog park, I guess, to go over stuff, make sure it's a right fit. This guy asks every question he can possibly think of, and, and, the sitter lived close to the, to the park, so because they walked to the park, this guy gave them a ride home. So why? So he can take a look at the neighborhood, look at their house. This guy thought he was doing everything right. The only thing he did not do, guys, he didn't get out of the car and walk to the backyard. Here comes the story. He agrees with everything, drops the dog off. He gets a call, not even two hours after he dropped the dog off from this pet sitter who starts apologizing to him immediately. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I don't know what happened. All these things, but you gotta come to, I got the dog at the vet. When he gets to the vet, he goes in the room and the dog still has water coming out of his nose and mouth because the dog fell in a pool that was doesn't have a fence around it. It's not enclosed in any form or fashion. This person doesn't watch the dog, doesn't go outside with the dog, nothing, so lets the dog out or whatever they did. I don't even know because we don't know what the story is. All we know is a pet sitter dog. I don't know. Oh, okay. So now this guy's without his dog that he's had for 16 years because of this alleged sitter. Now, the company involved made their public statement of how this is an isolated incident. Really? Well, let me tell you something. It's not an isolated incident. There have been numerous news reports about this specific pet sitting service, as a matter of fact. One of which was here, where the lady, the, the lady's dog got away from the sitter at the sitter's house. And the sitter had a, a gate open, the dog ran away. They still haven't found that dog. And it's an isolated incident. I've seen numerous stories, not just the one from here in Vegas that I just referenced. And the other one I'm telling you about right now from Arizona, there's numerous ones, guys. Go, if you were curious, go Google it. Now, I don't get why, first of all, this alleged service isn't being a little bit more picky when they sign people up. Oh, they passed a background check. What? Oh, okay. So that just means they, they haven't gotten caught doing anything criminal. But 
So they passed a background check, but you didn't actually go to their home. You didn't have any kind of like even a virtual visit with them where you could you could see them on camera. You don't even know what these fucking people look like. You couldn't give a description if it meant the life of one of your family members. You couldn't give a description of this fucking person. And you, oh, they passed a background check. Fuck your background check. What about the dogs? And, well, I'm sure there's cats too, but all the stories I've seen are dogs. And I know that's going to kind of give away the, the name of the sitting service, but I don't give a shit. This is bullshit. This poor guy loses his best friend in this world. After one choice that he makes, which he's never used any kind of Never used anything like this before his first time. And what happened? And what's going on with this guy is this poor man is blaming himself. He was just doing what he thought was right by his dog and he blames himself because it was the wrong choice. Guys, in my opinion, you should not be using one of these services. You have family, you have friends, you have neighbors, you have someone that you trust and you talk to. If you can trust them with your secrets, you can trust them with your animals and your and your family members and your loved ones, you can trust them. So let them watch your animal and if not, then don't go anywhere. Do not use these pet sitting services, guys. Please, please don't. And, and, like, if you're in this dire need and emergency situation and you're absolutely, man, that's the only choice I got, Boomer Ranter. Well, then take some advice from the Boomer Ranter and go to this person's house. Go in the house. Go walk around. Look at the backyard. Look at the front yard. Look at the neighbor's houses. Make sure. Make sure that this doesn't happen to you guys. I'm really upset about this because it has to do with dogs. You know this about me. Dogs, I have a special spot for. This one bothers me so much, and I'm so upset about it, guys. But I'm at work, and my lunch is over. I got to go.